I'm really hired to be opinionated and to push for my opinion and try and question everything that I'm doing as a creative. Hey, my name's Rankin, I'm a photographer director. My first commission for Rolls Royce was back in 2011 and I was given the opportunity to recreate the spirit of ecstasy in living form that really celebrated the centenary year of the icon being made. Rolls Royce for me is like the pinnacle of your career. It embodies everything about luxury, everything about confidence. Once you've worked for Rolls Royce, it's very hard to see anything in the industry that's like it because they're beyond automotive and they're beyond anything in the luxury world. They're out there on their own. You've been spoiled by working for them. I think one of the things I really live by is the idea of no regrets. All the mistakes that I've made have really actually taught me something and to really embrace mistakes to improve myself improve the way I work and not be scared of mistakes I'm definitely fearless I'm there to keep being the person that pushes and tries to get the best out of the, the situation and that's how the world changes the world the world changes because people push things and develop things if you don't do that then there's no point in being a creative well, definitely the Queen was an amazing person to photograph. There's this wave of, of, of empowerment that comes through the room as she walks into it. So she was somebody that I really admire as a human being, as a person. And then probably Robert Downey Jr. just because he's, he's everything that you want him to be and more. And just brings this fantastic sense of humour and lust for life and real belief in the creative process. Like he's one of the only people that at the end of a shoot he said, should we do some more? Let's go and do some more. Because he gets excited. They're probably two of my favourites. When I'm photographing a Rolls Royce, I'm not really photographing the aesthetic of it alone. I'm looking for the dream, the fantasy that goes with it. The concept for the Dawn films is that we bought into this idea of teasing a story and then allowing the viewer, the audience, to finish it in their imagination. Why it really suits Dawn is because Dawn, for me, is about freedom. It's the Thelma and Louise of the, the Rolls Royce uh, fleet. Dawn is the car you get into to experience the world around you, to, to go in and and, and drive into you know, the unknown. Rolls Royce is more than a car. It's a way of thinking, it's a way of being. That's not about money or about luxury, that's about an attitude, and that's what I love. 